of the ceviche are bursting out perfectly. This is absolutely amazing. Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Corinne. So I thought it was high time I show you how to make my favorite ceviche recipe, mainly because I've been craving it. It's a tropical ceviche. It has mango, pineapple, the perfect amount of sweetness, acidity, spice. It's absolutely delicious. But I thought we'd take it one step further and make a tropical ceviche plantain cup. And so I'm also gonna show you the easiest way to make a plantain cup using just a lemon squeezer. And so this is all you need to make your tropical ceviche. We're gonna start by making some pickled chilies. And so here I have some sliced jalapeno. We're gonna pickle it using some white distilled vinegar, some sugar and some salt and set it aside. For the ceviche, here I have some grouper that I diced. I'm also gonna list um, in the description box all the ideal fish that you can use when making ceviche. I also have some diced onions, some diced mango, some diced pineapple, some diced green bell pepper, some chopped parsley, and here are some fresh squeezed lemon juice, lime juice, orange juice, some apple cider vinegar, and some salt. And here we're just heating up some oil to make our plantains. Here I have my plantains that I cut up. I just cut one plantain into three evenly. And that's it, that's all you need to make your tropical ceviche plantain cups. And now we're ready to get started. Add your vinegar, sugar, and salt to a small pot and boil until the sugar is fully dissolved. Pour your pickling liquid onto your jalapenos and set aside to cool. Once your oil is nice and hot, you can start to fry your plantains. So here we have our pickled chilies. I poured the hot vinegar mixture on top and now we're just gonna let it cool before making our ceviche. And here we fried our cut up plantains and now we're gonna use our lemon squeezer to make our plantain cups. Look how easy this is. I'm just gonna put a piece here. Here we have our plain pink up and just remove it. It comes out nicely, looking perfect. I used to make this using a, a cupcake tin, but it does not come out as perfect. I actually recommend cutting your plain tins into four instead of three because the smaller size just comes out more nice and neat. I'm setting these here before we refry them again so they're nice and crispy. If you look at my Haitian stew chicken recipe, I show you the trick to making the crispiest plantains you've ever had. I'm just not gonna do these for this because I want them to keep the shape of the cup because the way that I do it, they would just look all funny and it'd be hard to add ceviche to it. So I'll just do the regular way this time.
Okay, so here we have our beautiful painting cups looking golden and perfect and crispy. Now we're just gonna make our ceviche and then we'll plate up. Give my grouper a bit of a Once you've mixed in all the ingredients, place your ceviche in the cooler for 30 minutes to an hour or up to two hours. Okay, so we're ready to dive into our beautiful tropical ceviche painting cups. This looks phenomenal. in the painting all the flavors of the ceviche are bursting out perfectly this is absolutely amazing wow. this is my favorite ceviche recipe and i promise it'll be yours too please give this a try you won't regret it Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Hit the bell to get notified when I post new recipes. As usual, you're gonna want to because every week we're back making new and exciting stuff. And I can't wait for the next one. I'll see you guys next time.